It's Tech for Market Explainer, your number one business news podcast. Hosted by Danny and the big man. And it starts right now. So my good friends over at TurboTax are getting sued. Now, this isn't a political show. And at the outset of us doing a podcast, we talked about doing a political show. And I said, no, that subject matter makes me sad. But I'm going to take this opportunity to say something political. And if the big man doesn't like it, we're not going to put it in the show. But <laughs> I think it is a crime in this country. Let's just put aside the fact that I think taxes are theft, right? Let's just put that aside for a moment. Sure. That's something we should just put to the side. But all right, go ahead. Um, the, the notion that the IRS doesn't just dummy up a bill and send it to you and say, this is what your taxes are. Do you have a difference of opinion? And you just sign off on it and go, all right, here you go. I have a difference of opinion because right. I have all these write-offs. I have, you know, the, the, the interest on my mortgage. I have this many children, whatever. The fact that we don't do that, right, is criminal to me because the government's going, we know how much money you have to give us. We're not going to tell you, though. You need to guess. And if you guess wrong, you go into prison, right? This is, look, this is one of those rare circumstances where I mostly agree with Danny um, in that we live in a world of technology where they even know more than that. They yeah. can take this out during the year, just right. like, you know, or a guesstimate out during the year on the minimum right. side. This is one of those things in bureaucracy. And I, this is even political to me. This is one of the things in bureaucracy. The IRS is that we started one way and because they're so heavily regulated, it's almost impossible to change the way that it's done because right. you get involved in stuff that is political, like people's jobs. Like if right. we had technology running, hey, all of your, all, you know what I mean? Your taxes are going to be taken out of, just like we run payroll, right? Right. And run, and pay taxes and stuff like that, like we did that way. If the IRS did it that way, what do all these process, IRS processors do for jobs? And then, right. then it and, becomes you're trying to fire people from work. And, and yes. that's when it does become political. So, like, listen, I also don't believe my initial statement, which is that all taxes are theft, is a political statement. It's a humanitarian statement. It's a, it's a manner of, and hey, listen, my studio's taken apart. I'm sitting in a library right now, paid for with taxpayer revenue. But guess what? My family's paid taxes in this county for 40 years. I should own the building. They Danny just doesn't give me this like building. that taxes exist, but at the same time, Correct. we'll be the very front of the line to take advantage of those tax, those services I that paid. are free because of taxes. Yeah. They're not free. My family paid for these services. Anyways, the anyway. point is TurboTax uh, is getting yeah. hit because they are using this word free. So the Federal Trade Commission, so here, by the way, here's me being grossed out by, you have the IRS stealing your money and then the Federal Trade Commission, should, like, here's three different three-letter agencies showing up to screw up your day, right? And all I did was, like, I tried to earn a couple money, a couple of dollars. like to, to Okay, quote, no, that's not true. I knew Danny would take into its side turbo taxes side on this i knew danny would because it's scammy behavior it is 100 percent scammy behavior the short end of this stick is that the ftc is suing into it which bought turbo tax years ago right and right. and says because they are accusing them of deceptive marketing practices so okay? i don't so i use turbo tax to file I don't understand what this what was deceptive about it. Well, because, like, because if you look, if you're doing a simple if you because it, it says basically what it says is if you're doing a simple return, it's you don't pay the federal right. You don't pay them to do the federal. Is that correct? Is that what I understand? No. Look, here's the problem. The problem is the reason they're using the word deceptive is actually two prong. One, they're accusing them of being a gamers know this term freemium policies yeah. right yeah, which yeah. is That's what technically it is. it's free but if you want to do a b and c you, you all pay. you have to pay the yeah. problem with that is they were not making it they set this up like a click funnel if y'all know what a click funnel is they set this up like a click funnel where when you're doing your free tax return you would have these hard ads that would come up that say right. hey you might want to do this fifty dollar package instead of this free, free and not explaining to them that 
they didn't have to, that they didn't, you right. know what I mean? And people not reading fine print, that kind of, and that they, that TurboTax, if you look, look, we've all seen Super Bowl ads on TurboTax. You've seen TurboTax here on YouTube, I'm sure, whatever. And right. they use the word free constantly throughout the ad, right? right. That's why, again, the number of fraud they're saying what? is that people, you're not free. You're not a free company. Right. It's not like it's it's I understand the freemium model, though. And here's the other thing. Have you walked into an H&R block? Have you walked into any of those other places that will do your taxes? Jackson Hewitt, you're going to pay 500 bucks. That that's the part that I've never understood. These places. And this is where, again, they're trying to crack down on places like TurboTax, Jackson Hewitt, H&R block. I put all of these in the same category as to me is those. uh short-term loan companies because these are h and r block or whatever they're paying quote unquote they are charging not paying quote unquote poor people to come in and pay five hundred dollars eight hundred dollars or whatever more than a cpa charges people yes because people don't know any better and bob's cpa down here doesn't have a million dollar marketing budget like h and r block or whatever and so they're getting people through the door and then charging them five eight hundred in some cases a thousand dollars and then turn around and giving them a short-term loan until their taxes come back well you, right. well if you pay us six hundred dollars today but if you want us to wait to take it out of your tax return it's eight hundred dollars right Right. So do you want to pay me six hundred dollars today or you just want to take eight hundred dollars out of your so, time? Yeah. And again, to the human rights element that I was explaining earlier, this is the kind of fear that is created with this system that people get so afraid. But I also know people who are broke who just don't file. They've gone ten or fifteen years without filing. That's horrible advice, and Danny shouldn't let it fall out of your mouth. I, I'm not the giving IRS that advice. Is not to be jacked. <laughs> no, no, hold on. I'm not giving that advice at all. That's not the advice I'm giving at all. That's terrible mm-hmm. advice. And I know people who are like, well, I don't make any money, so I just don't file. I'm like, hey, ding dong, you might get money back if you just file because you don't make any money mm-hmm. because you get – there's a certain amount of like if you take your Absolutely. standard deduction or whatever. I don't there know. are I'm credits a, that you get for kids and for – I'm not a CPA. I'm not a tax accountant. I'm not a tax attorney. Mm-hmm. I don't know anything. But I what I do know is – I've had some pretty lean years in my life. I mean, financially, not physically, but <laughs> I've had some pretty lean years and um, the returns have always been good to me, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, but nonetheless, this story, I, I brought it up for a couple of different reasons, which is like, um, obviously the political element, which again, like, you know, we don't try to, we're not avoiding it as a rule. We're avoiding it because, it, it's not beneficial to our show, I don't think, anyway, to be over, or overtly political. But everyone kind of knows where I'm at. Yeah. Um, but this, like, this is nonsensical to me. Like, I, I anybody who uses TurboTax, which I'm a, uh, I've been a user of TurboTax for, um, like I said, you know, my family selling mm-hmm. their ancestral home, and the real estate agent's like, hey, you don't need TurboTax 1997. You don't need this anymore. <laughs> right. Okay. But my father's been using it, and that's how he's been filing taxes, and I've been filing taxes that way as well. Well, but the um, laws have changed since then. Like, every no, but year, I'm, that's why no, TurboTax so, online became a big thing. No, no, that's what I'm saying is, like, I've been, I've been exposed to their product for so mm-hmm. long. I'm saying, as far back as 97, my father has the disc. Right, The yeah. CD this thing came on. And he probably has a floppy disk somewhere, a three and a half inch floppy <laughs> with the original TurboTax because that's how I've – but I'm yeah. just saying at no point in time, like the concept that filing your taxes, when you compare it to Main Street's choices, which is Jackson Hewitt, H&R Block, they are – this is so much cheaper. Yeah, they are definitely – here's the problem. Look, the government loves to go after – people when they get when they're growing and yes. guess what they just filed this lawsuit this week uh guess what's less than a month away the tax, the tax. The... you see what i'm saying like so yeah. they could have filed this lawsuit in an october in a july yeah. in a whatever but they right. did it in march on purpose now i'm not a conspiracy theorist but you put pressure on people when 
they're going to be in pain for it, right? Right. Obviously, TurboTax does not like this press and this all getting out there because they're saying they're using numbers against them. Who was it? There was right. some actor that was like, you're using my argument against me and I don't like it, right? Right. So, because they're turning around and going, all right, TurboTax, you're saying that, like, they use the word free in their 30-second television ad. They use the word free 40 times. That's a lot. Okay, so when you're saying free, 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 and then you turn around and look at the numbers of the am the amount of people that file with you that would qualify that actually get it free, right? Sixty percent aren't getting it free. <laughs> right. So here's the thing, though: there are people out there right now who use TurboTax to file their taxes mm -hmm. who did not pay to use it, who got it for free. Absolutely, absolutely, and that's look, that's. TurboTax's numbers on the opposite. They're going, well, in the last five years or whatever, four years, we've let, helped 100 million people file their taxes for free, right? So they're yeah, using the so, argument, look what we've done. And I, I would lean on the, if I'm TurboTax, I would, because if you guys remember, if you ever saw um, uh, Mad Men, mm -hmm. and there's that scene where Lucky Strike the cigarette company goes, listen, we're all, every cigarette company's in the same boat. We can't advertise. We can't say what we usually say about cigarettes. And then Don Draper goes, how are your, what's your process? And it's a father and son. And the father mm -hmm. is explaining the process. And the son's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And the father looks at him and goes, you pe like, basically like, what's wrong with you? How do you not know how our product is made? Mm-hmm. And he goes through and he goes, yeah, so we toast the tobacco. And he goes, Don goes, right there, it's toasted. Mm -hmm. And he goes, yeah, everyone else is toasted too. He said, no, no, everyone else's cigarettes cause cancer. Yours are toasted. <laughs> it, it's nonsensical, right? Right. So if, it if, but if I'm into it and I'm going, listen, Turbo, like the Federal Trade Commission is saying, we cannot say free this much. What I would mm -hmm. turn around and say is, what's the actual statistic? Don't say 40%. If 100 million Americans have filed taxes for free with TurboTax, you go, hey, that's a third of America, right? But here's the other thing. That th that's 100 million people over how many years? Eight. That's over eight years. That's not the point. None of that's the point. The point is 100 million people mm -hmm. in America have – this is a perfectly correct legal statement. And, you know, marketing is a lot like the corporate press, you know? factual but not truthful like you know that's I, you know michael malice always says that about the corporate press we the definitely get allow marketing to get away with a wide but this again turbo tax is increasing year over year the amount of people that are using them government likes to step in as you're a growing business yeah. not a dying business Correct. so uh, again you add oh, timing step in when being... you're dying too and then like punch you in the gut on your way Absolutely. down but, but they know. they like to they they like to to hit growing businesses because if right. I shut you down when you're a small business, there's no benefit to anybody, right? Right. You're not yeah. big enough for me to worry about. You're not. You know what I mean? And so look, the there, way there's you're always describing, motivations. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna say the way you're describing the government is almost like they're the mafia. But hey, that's just <laughs> my opinion, right? They ran very similarly. But yeah, look. This is, I always wonder when I see a story like this, I always try to figure out or ask, what is the motivation behind this, right? Yes. Because this is, they're not, look, TurboTax is doing some scammy things, like the disclaimers at the end aren't exactly easy to read, the voice goes 90 miles an hour and whatever, but that's, they're not, that's not unique to TurboTax. Like, that's no. a lot of different, so my, my question always comes back, because look, every time, the FTC is a, tax-based system right the ftc yeah. is paid for by your tax dollars so they're spending money to sue turbo tax over something that everyone's doing so my question comes what's the motivation correct because you go well okay uh does h and r block have their pockets in the ftc because they want them to go after turbo tax so that they'll go to jackson hewitt and h and r block? i i don't know i'm just always curious that we'd never get to know what motivated the ftc to do this now to this company instead of it's turbo tax it's h and r block we're going to block all these people that do it together right and go after them all so my if you want me to conspiracy theory out here because that mm -hmm. is my specialty 
Um, my guess is TurboTax is too efficient at telling you the options you have to legally, as the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court has deemed that you can do anything legally within your power to mitigate your tax burden. There's nothing. So when people are like, right. they're trying to escape taxes by incorporating in Ireland, that's not illegal. You didn't right. do anything illegal. You didn't do anything immoral. You just inco- like you incorporated your business in in Nevada, and then you set up a trust in South Dakota. It's a blind tr- so like it's you right. set up this set up a system. There's actually a billionaire in Houston who like he is in the middle of divorcing his wife, or was in the middle of the pandemic, and he just set up their finances in such a manner that he technically doesn't have any money. Like the fa- they don't own like the trust has ten billion dollars in it. But they don't have any money, right. so it's like, well, you can take a grand piano and eight thousand dollars, and you can kick rocks. <laughs> and I looked at this old guy, and I thought, this is what America is about: screwing your ex-wife out of billions of dollars. This is what Danny's about, is what this That's is. True. I don't want to take, well, as a fellow American, I don't yeah. want to take any response, uh, you know, uh, uh, responsibility of that particular statement. Go ahead. Fair enough. But nonetheless, I mean, I thought this was a very fascinating story. Now, so, of course, you know, I just like my conspiracy angle was like, maybe TurboTax has just done too good a job at. um, Well, and maybe they're the most right now, as far as 2022, maybe they're the most well known, like the the high marketing target. Like I'm going to go like putting a a previous uh, popular actor in jail is a much bigger deal than joe bob from down the street putting them in jail even though they're for the same things the actor right. makes a much bigger splash as far right. as preventative measures making right. an example out of right Correct. as we say um so maybe turbo tax is just that one that they're at the top right. so we're gonna that's who we're gonna maybe. go after. and of course uh the big man is referring to juicy smolier i'm just kidding um <laughs> Or Wesley Snipes is probably the more accurate one, because didn't he go down for tax fraud? Yes, he did, and it took him okay. forever to get back into the movies. I think it was Untouchables. Yeah. No, uh, what what's the one that Sylvester Stallone brought all these? Yeah, yeah, I, I know 80s, what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, and it was just, uh, they've made like yeah. three of them now. Yeah, right? like, you know yeah, I mean? they're gonna make a fourth but, one. Too. Uh, I know which one you're talking about. I don't remember what it is. Y'all know listening yeah. to this podcast. I'm sure you know what it is, and you're screaming it at me right now, and I'm just trying right. to blank. But anyway. No, you know, we're, we're go ahead. No, we're looking. I'm looking this up right now. It is untouchables. <laughs> is it untouchables? Wait, no, no, expendables. It's not untouchables. There you go. Expendables. There it is. So, thank you, a, thank yeah, you. We I've, need a I've live seen, Googler. Y'all can. Yeah. Uh, we need a we need a live Googler intern. So if you're interested yeah, we, out there, send. We, you know, we need a Jamie. We need a Jamie. We need a Jamie. Um, yes. Yeah. So no. So just in closing, uh, the expendables. I've seen all three of them, and if they make a fourth one, I'll see the fourth one. Uh, That's right. They they were recently on, because like I was getting rid of cable and everything, and I was like, oh, I'm going to record this, because it was on cable, and I watched mm-hmm. it, and I was like, these are really good. The story is nonsense. I don't even know what the right. story was about. I've seen all three of them. I have no idea what it's about, but it's just like, out of nowhere, all of these amazing stars, this is like, I, I loved it. It was a piece of it's a piece of nostalgia and childhood that I enjoyed. Yes. Um, all right, we're going to jump into the next story, but I wanted to let you know that Market Explainer has a Patreon. You can go to patreon.com/marketexplainer. The full episodes are included over there. Right now, they are free to the public. You can just go there and watch the whole episode. Otherwise, you can get the audio, of course, on our anchor. Um, or anywhere else audio is found. Again, that is patreon.com slash market explainer. Mm-hmm. 